available now on these platforms. Download now to start your free seven-day trial. Welcome back. Let's have now a look at the flooding in New York City this morning. So much rain has come so very quickly. As expected, beginning late yesterday afternoon, the guidance was telling us that a very heavy rainfall event, perhaps one that exceeded six inches, was coming during the night and early morning hours today, and it did just that. This is a kind of scene that was repeated over and over again in New York and areas nearby. It is amazing. A lot of water rescues and, and just too many flooding reports to go through them one by one. But we saw this uh, really as uh, part of our morning here in Manhattan, the Big Apple. So earlier we spoke to Total Traffic and Weather Network reporter Bernie Vider about the ongoing flooding issues. Yeah, we had an absolute deluge this morning. I've been a traffic reporter in the New York City area for over 25 years now, and honestly, I haven't seen a morning commute like this in quite some time. Uh, virtually every major road, every major highway in Brooklyn is uh, closed or subject to closure because of flooding and high standing water. Traffic is at a standstill. The uh, secondary roadways, many of the neighborhood roadways, you may have seen some video. It is just an absolute nightmare up to uh, people's thighs and beyond. Cars have been submerged. There's been multiple uh, rescues of people that were uh, completely trapped in submerged vehicles in the Brooklyn area. But this is impacting all of the five boroughs as well as the suburban areas. But most of the New York City subways are not running as well as the Metro North lines, which uh, operates in the uh, northern uh, uh, suburbs of New York City. It's been terrible. You know, in that interview, we asked her uh, if residents in Manhattan and areas nearby New York, if they were caught off guard by it, and she said yes, which was interesting because by late yesterday afternoon, it became very clear that a very significant rainfall event was on the way, and it's still impacting us right now at the airports. Let's have a look at LaGuardia, where there's a ground stop. JFK, not a ground stop anymore. But 202 minutes is the average delay there. So be mindful of that if you are going to travel in and out of JFK or LaGuardia. And Newark now with 53-minute delays, I believe. So, again, this is something that's going to be with us, I think, not just the rest of the early afternoon, but into the evening hours. The rain continues, maybe not in some places as heavy as it's been. But when you have that kind of airport delay at a major hub, let alone a few of them, you know the impacts are eventually going to propagate outward from there, and we are going to see more airports that later on, I think, have that delay, even though right now they may not be showing up uh, as that. But look, later on this afternoon, I think there are going to be more yellows and reds on here than we're showing with all what's happening now and just over the last few hours. But it's not just the air travel that's going to be impacted. Remember, be careful traveling all roads. You saw all that flooding in Manhattan. If you are traveling along I-95 north and eastbound out of New York City along coastal Connecticut, it is raining right now very hard in Massachusetts. If you take the turnpike up into Western Mass, you're going to run into very heavy rainfall rates, well over an inch per hour. That can flood roadways if it hasn't already and do so very quickly. Let's have a look now at what it looks like moving in and out of Philly, moving northeastward from there. The rain, for the most part, has moved away from Philadelphia and into areas in North Jersey and even northeast from there. It's in New York. That's about when you start to see the heavier rain still in place across New York. And then again, the heaviest rain for now is also being reported in northwestern Connecticut and Massachusetts, where uh, Boston, eastern Massachusetts, I think it's going to escape the heaviest of all the rain, Lynette. And we actually have in Connecticut now flash flood warning. I'm going to show you that in a matter of moments. Uh, but we're still watching this one right here for Kings, New York, Manhattan, Queens. This goes until 2.30. This actually was extended. And, of course, it would be. Look at the heavy rain that continues to move into, again, this uh, flash flood warning at this point. And I want to show you the source. You can see what's going on down off towards the south. This is moving off to the north. So we will have more influx of that uh, heavy moisture coming in across the area as we go through the rest of uh, this afternoon. So that's a one flash flood warning there. Uh, we do have plenty more and we do have uh, plenty more of those yellows and reds that will continue to move in. So let's move this along and we can see what's going on in terms of I-95 as we go towards five o'clock. Five o'clock, that's the, that's the 
the key, right? That's where you're trying to make your way home. Uh, this is going to be a terrible time. It's already a terrible time to be out on the roads anyway because of all of that rain. And we're going to do it all over again as we go into the afternoon. Again, we're going to pile rain upon rain. Uh, we will get some sort of a break a little bit later on. But where you're getting a break in some areas, other areas are going to be getting in on some heavier rain as we go into 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock overnight into your tomorrow morning. We can see some light rain showers around Yonkers. Uh, New York, you seem to be on the drier side at this point. But before it's all said and done, we can see up to about one to two more inches of rain. We'll be back.